Saudi Club, I'm JP Mustanza, and today is Tuesday, November 5th. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. Picture this, tourists swimming happily in the waters of Kamala Beach, when suddenly, about 50 meters from the shore, a 100 kilogram python appears alongside them. That's what happened on Monday in the sleepy tourist beach town. The python was spotted by lifeguards shortly after 1 p.m. on Monday, swimming along nearly 50 meters from the shore at Kamala Beach, alarming tourists who were both in the water and on the beach sunbathing. Immediately, beach patrol officers alerted beachgoers to exit the water for safety reasons. Then, lifeguards took out five to six jet skis to go out and safely capture the more than three meter long, 100 kilogram python back to shore. At the moment, officials believe that the python entered the water through a nearby canal. The python was later taken to the Cao Parateo Wildlife Sanctuary in Talang for observation and care before being released back into its natural habitat. Pythons are protected species in Thailand under the Wildlife Conservation and Protection Act. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. The Finance Ministry's Fiscal Policy Office, the FPO, forecasts Thai GDP growth of 2.7% this year and 3% in 2025. Speaking during the ministry's economic projection briefing for 2024 and 2025 last Thursday, Ponchai Tiraveja, the director general of the FPO, said that the office maintains its 2024 growth forecast at 2.7% within the range of 2.2 to 3.2% unchanged from July. The uptick is attributed to tourism and exports, with foreign arrivals expected to reach 36 million this year up nearly 28% year-on-year, generating just over 1.6 trillion baht in revenue, a gain of just over 37%. Average spending per tourist is estimated at 47,000 baht this year. As of October, foreign arrivals tallied 28.4 million, generating 1.3 trillion baht in revenue for the whole country. The FPO projects 3% growth next year, within a range of 2.5 to 3.5%, which would be the highest growth rate since the pandemic years of 2020 to 2021. This 3% forecast aligns with the International Monetary Fund's outlook for Thailand. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. A routine checkpoint at the Phuket International Airport saw officers catch a taxi driver with knives and pills of yaba or methamphetamine on Monday. The checkpoint had been in effect on Monday for two hours, from 10 a.m. to noon, all to make sure that Saku police could enforce traffic regulations and prevent illegal items from entering the airport premises. It worked because during the inspections, police stopped and searched a vehicle driven by a taxi driver and discovered two Yaba pills and two spur knives. The taxi driver, identified by police only as Mr. Widach, was taken into custody and sent to Saku police station for legal action. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. The tourist high season is officially here and with it comes an increase in road accidents on the island and the Phuket branch of the Red Cross Society along with the Bashida Phuket Hospital, are ramping up their blood donation drives to make sure that they have enough stock for medical needs. The schedule for the mobile blood donation drive for the month of November has been released, and on your screen right now is the schedule for the first two weeks of this month. You can find the full schedule in the link in the description or on the PhuketNews.com. Medical experts say that RH negative blood type is in especially high demand because it's not very prevalent among Thai donors, so foreigners are highly encouraged to donate blood when they can. This week, you can find the mobile blood donation clinics today, November 5th, as well as tomorrow, November 6th, Thursday and Friday, the 7th and 8th of November respectively at locations across the island, including in Chalong, Patong and up north at the Phuket Airport. Next week, there's a mobile blood donation clinic every day starting from Monday at locations in Chengdalei, Samkong, Karon, Katu, Rawai, Gokeo, Phuket Town, Chelong, and other locations. Those who are interested in donating blood must ensure that they are in good health 
have not consumed alcohol within 24 hours prior to donating, they also must not be taking any antibiotics and more, the rest of which is on your screen. People can also donate directly at the Phuket Regional Blood Center in Phuket Town or at the blood bank on the fourth floor of the outpatient building at Bashida Phuket Hospital, also in Phuket Town. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. We really appreciate you joining us here on this Tuesday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pbcphuket.com. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.